as thick smoke from the Bitam landfill blankets the Silots area daily. Operations at the National Petroleum Refilling Station have ground to a halt. We have to come here like from 9 on the night, like last night, 9 o'clock, and wait all night, wait all day. No food, no rest, no gas. It's been this way since last Wednesday, when the landfill first started burning. And it's really getting out of hand now because there are so many customers have no gas. My phone is ringing off the button every second. And I just have to make stories and tell the customers I, I, I fed up of this. Like Emmanuel, many others are at their wits' end. I come in here every day since last week, Wednesday, and no production. Since in the morning, 5 o'clock, the smoke does come up. When the breeze starts to blow, it does go away, and they're using that as a strategy to lock off the plant for the whole day. Several of them, including Pursue, sleep in their trucks outside the gates, waiting for work inside to restart. Well, I just come down and make the sacrifice because I have children to mind, I have bills to pay, school opening on the 19th, and right now I don't have an income for a whole week now. And I'm working on commission, and if I don't get the gas, I don't have nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. And while the truckers say the smog from the landfill fire has caused some issues, they said this plant has been having problems for years. They are now calling for fresh management to take over. It's going a long time it's going on. They need to reach out these people and them. Pay them off and let them go the damn way. That's what they need to do. And get fresh people. But while they are angry, NB Chairman Sahid Hussein says there is nothing the company can do. He says the workers cannot function in such a toxic environment. He also denies the truckers have not gotten any refills since last week. Hussein says NP has contingency plans to purchase filled tanks from a local supplier if the landfill smoke continues to affect operations. While we operate two shifts, it would have been severely impacted by the smoke. And remember, this has been going on for a week. So it's not that they're not getting, they're not getting the amount they're accustomed to. And in the event that in any one day they didn't get because of these circumstances, they get first preference in the next morning. Charlene Rampasad, CNC3 News.